Marie here from the Be Me Hair Salon and Academy. Now today we're going to take you through one of our um, beautiful ladies who comes in. Every time we do a consultation, we always use inspiration photos. As you know, it's really important to get a really clear picture of what your lady's expectations are. So we've put some colour in Jay's hair here because she's um, quite white. And I always put product in. This really helps me to control the hair as I'm cutting. So that technique of running your comb through as you're picking up the sections pushes that product into the hair and it really makes it super easy when we come to the blow dry. Now when I'm cutting my client's hair I always talk through the haircut with the client so they have a really uh, strong verbal um, affirmation of what this haircut is going to be like, how it's going to behave and why we do what we do. So I always shape around and discuss the points of where the hair will fall with the client. As you can see here, I've just discussed how short the fringe is going to be, where the layers will start near the cheekbone. I'm now adding a little bit of mousse on top of that leave-in uh, spray conditioner. Um, the, spraying the spraying conditioner was a power tools and the mousse I think was white sands and I'm just combing that in there to really uh, make sure every strand of hair is coated with the product. When you're doing a haircut, it is really important to keep your sections really clean and really methodical. Now, Jay wants a really layered haircut, but the photographs that she showed me, she actually wants a much longer version of this. Now, we're working with a hair type that is fine. So I'm taking traditional square layers through the top there. And when I come to the back, I just want to show you the how we section. So I'm always going to use that top section that I took for the first uh, hair cut. And I'm now going to take a panel down the back and I'm keeping my sections nice and clean. So there's that first section that I took and then I'm going to create a section. Now this will be my whole guideline for the back of the haircut. So as you notice there, I'm taking that crown section up, I'm taking that up and I'm cutting, point cutting, and that's my guideline. So I will now work around that whole quarter of that um, hair, taking the sections methodically as I go, lifting up to the angle to create the amount of layers. Now, obviously, depending on the angle that you lift the hair will cr then create the different layering, um, whether it's a long layer or a short layer. So I'm working around there. I'm using the section from the last section cut always using my guideline. So if you look, I'm cutting this vertically. I'm taking the sections vertically around the head, always using a little bit of the last section to create my guideline for the next section. This is a very methodical way of working. So I'm just about to take that last section here. Now, this is how I cut hair every day in the salon on all my clients and make sure that I'm very methodical. So we're working now, this is the um, perimeter of the haircut. So this is just putting the basic layers in here. As you can see, I'm point cutting that for softness, always making sure that um, there's connection through there. So now I want to cross check this section. I want to check that I haven't missed any bits. So now I'm going horizontally and I'm picking that up and I'm checking the section, as you can see, taking that whole section up there and I'm just cross checking as I go. So I've cut vertically and checking horizontally. And this is a really good method of cutting. And I will do the same, mirror the same on the other side. So it's really important to keep the hair at the same moisture level. So I respray, and now we're going to cut around the front of the hair. Now Jay's hairline is really, really fine. Um, so where you would learn to bring all the hair forward, I'm actually disconnecting that back section there and uh, just creating a framed uh, illusion by creating a small section around the front. Now, when you're cutting the hair like this, you're only cutting the perimeter. I won't finish this haircut until it's dry and I can actually see how the hair falls around the face. So I'm just doing some gentle framing around the face and I will mirror the same on the other side. Then we're going to dry Jay's hair. Now, hair, as we know, when it's wet, it's... Um, 
it behaves differently to it's dry so now I'm going to blow dry just finishing off some refining there I do an awful lot of freehand um, and, and that really comes from years of experience and now I'm just connecting that disconnected section in softly as you can see because if, if I'd have taken all the um, back section forward, it would have actually left me with not much hair to work with around the front. So I'm just connecting that in. Always looking, stand back, look at the shape, feel the hair. I always look. They were dry. And as you can see, it still looks, it looks quite solid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this haircut and I'm going to soften all the layers by deep point cutting into all the sections again and then I'm going to do some fly cutting just very gently around the sides through the back layers there just to really soften and refine so in your mind get that mythology ready for that haircut you're going to you're going to cut the perimeter now this is really for every haircut you do you're going to cut the perimeter you're going to dry the hair you're going to see how the hair falls and then you're going to work on the interior of the haircut by adding texture and really customizing that haircut for that client now you have to be ready for every hairstyle that's going to come in the salon you know there's no guarantee working with the public um, when they come in they've got some weird and wonderful ideas of how they want uh, their hair doing and it's a real effort of teamwork between you and that um, client sat in your chair to create something that they're going to love, enjoy, that's going to be really easy for them in between visits. So as you can see, I'm just working, taking the um, edge off the layers because I want this to just look really shattered and casual. Um, Jay and I call this casually fabulous, this particular haircut, and it's really beautiful. As you can see, I'm just softening around there, always constantly looking um, and refining the shape for my clients in the mirror. And that is, I think we're coming to the end of the haircut now, she says. I'm still going around and refining. I could literally, it takes me, I give myself uh, 60 minutes um, for every haircut because I do like this process of cutting the base shape in when it's weight and finishing off when it's dry. There's the layers at the back there all smashed out with a fly cutting just so it's really soft so it doesn't look... Um, too, too solid here and Jay likes this to look really uh, really casual and really um, soft and textured she loves the uh, visual texture that you can see so that is my uh, layered haircut for today um, I, can you see I'm getting Jay here to actually feel her hair I want her to feel the weight because she doesn't like it too heavy so it's really important to get your client to connect connect with the haircut that you've just given them so that is my layered haircut. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. And the products used today are the leave-in conditioner uh, from Power Tools and the White Sands Mousse and Spray. You have a great day, guys. Bye.